Hi, my name is Nita and welcome to my video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how to create this back quilt to go along with the top quilt that I created in my last video. Now, this video today is part of a series. This is the second video, so make sure if you haven't checked out the first video to go ahead and check that out. That's going to be down in the description below, and then make sure to keep a lookout for the third video that's going to be coming up very soon. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this back quilt using applique letters and some tribal themed fabric. This blanket is going to be going along with my son's nursery that is tribal theme so if you were designing a nursery that has a similar theme make sure to stay tuned and watch this video so you can get some ideas on how to create a quilt for your nursery or just a quilt for anything all right let's go ahead and let's get started here is the fabric that I'm going to use for uh, my back quilt the black is going to be the main fabric of the back quilt. This is going to be the centerpiece where I'm going to use the blue to make, um, I believe it's called applique letters. Um, I'm going to spell Jackson with the blue and then use applique to put it onto the white. And then the gray is going to be like a border around the white to kind of separate the white and the black. So here is kind of like a drawing that I drew out to kind of give me an idea on the measurements for the back quilt. Um, for my top quilt, I measured it and it came out to around 29 by 39 inches. So for my back quilt, um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and then when I sew the top and the back quilt together, I'll just cut off any extra fabric. So I'm going to do a 31 by 40 inch. So I'm going to do 23 inch section of the black, 2 inches of the gray, 8 inches of the white, another 2 inches of the gray, and then 5 inches of the black again. And then I'll use the blue fabric to um, make letters to spell out Jackson. Also one thing I do want to mention, this is the length after I sew it. So when I am cutting these pieces of fabric, I need to give a half an inch of seam allowance. So I'm going to do 23 and a half, two and a half, eight and a half, two and a half, and five and a half when cutting these pieces out. Okay, for my first cut, I'm going to use the gray and I'm going to cut two and a half inches and create strips. And after cutting, I should have two of the two and a half strips. Next, I'm going to take my main fabric and I'm going to cut two different pieces. I'm going to cut a 23 and a half inch piece and a five and a half inch piece. So this fabric, there is some frays, so I'm going to go ahead and cut off the frays first before I cut my pieces. Now I'm going to cut my five and a half inch piece. Now I'm going to cut my 23 and a half inch piece. Okay, so here I have my 23 and a half inch piece and then I have my five and a half inch piece. My background for the letters, I'm going to use this white piece and I'm going to cut off the phrase and then I'm going to cut off an eight and a half inch piece. Okay, so here are my final cuts. Again, I cut a 23 and a half inch of the dark color, two two and a half inch pieces for the border of the white, and then for the white I did eight and a half inches, and then for my final black piece I did five and a half inches. First thing I'm going to do with this piece of fabric, and this is my big piece, this is my 23 and a half inch piece, I'm going to cut off this white part this is probably about an inch of fabric. I'm going to get rid of this. So I have that edge cut down so it's nice and straight. Now with this long piece, I need to cut down the width to 31 and a half inches. The width right now of this piece of fabric is about 42 inches. So I need to cut down this piece of fabric to 31 and a half inches. So now I have this piece or this chunk of fabric cut. It should be 31 and a half inches wide and for the height it should be 23 and a half inches. Next I'm going to do my two gray pieces. I'm going to cut these down to 31 and a half inches as well. Just like I did with the black, I'm going to cut off this white piece. Okay, 
Okay, so now I have my long white piece. Again, I'm cutting off the white part at the end, and then I'm going to cut 31 and a half inches out of this piece. For my last cut, I have my last black piece of fabric and I'm going to cut this down to the same size as the rest, so 31 and a half inches. Okay, so I have each of my pieces cut down to 31 and a half inches. So now I can go ahead and start sewing each piece together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my large black fabric, my 23 and a half inch fabric, and I'm going to take a gray strip and I'm going to pin them face to face. Now my gray fabric is pinned against my black fabric. Now I can go ahead and start sewing. So the gray part is already sewn on, so I'm going to go ahead and press this really fast and then I'm going to do the white strip next. Now I'm going to take my white strip and I'm going to sew it to the gray piece now. So I want to make sure that it's lined up and then once it's all lined up I'm going to make sure the fabric is facing face to face and then I'm going to pin it. So I press the white and now I'm going to add my next strip of the gray. For my final last row that I need to sew, I'm going to sew on my five and a half inch piece. I want to make sure that the deer are facing upward so if you have similar fabric to this just keep in mind when doing that. Okay, so I'm all done sewing the patches together. The only thing I need to do now is to take my blue fabric and create some letters out of it. And then the letters are gonna go onto this white section. So here are the letters that I'm going to use to create um, the applique letters. The fabric that I will be using is this blue colored fabric that I used for the top quilt. And I'm also going to be using this applique adhesive paper. I don't know what brand it is, but I just got it off Amazon. So my first step in making the letters, I'm going to need um, enough fabric to create the letters. So I'm going to cut about six inches worth of fabric and that should be more than enough fabric to create the letters for the quilts. Okay, so I have the fabric that I need cut for my letters. Now the next part that I'm going to do, I'm going to need my applique adhesive. So this is just an extra scrap that I used for a previous project, um, but I'll probably end up needing to take some more from my roll of paper. So when you are doing your letters, um, you're going to trace um, onto this paper part. So on one side you'll see like little bumps and it's more plasticky and then on this side you'll have the paper. So with your letters you're gonna trace them the opposite way. So I'm gonna have to flip over my letter, put it underneath my adhesive paper. Now if you can't see it you can always put it up against the window and trace it that way. I might have to do that for this part.
Okay, so here are all my letters traced onto the paper side, um, and I made sure to trace them backwards. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna do a rough cut around each letter. all my letters cut out um, I'm going to now press my letters onto my fabric I'm going to flip the fabric over so with the paper part facing upward I'm going to place my letter onto the fabric and then I'm going to press press onto the paper side So here you can see all the letters have been pressed onto the fabric. Remember to press the letters on the back side of the fabric. Now I'm going to cut out the letters. Here are the letters all cut out now. Now I place them onto the fabric, making sure that they're centered and evenly laid. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the letters with um, an old piece of fabric on top of it. So this is this left leftover fabric that I have. So over each letter, I'm going to press them. To do that, you have to take the white film off from earlier. K letters are now all pressed on. Now the next thing I need to do is just stitch them on. All right, so here is the finished product of my back quilt. I have my applique letters all stitched on and all the fabric sewn together. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. If you would like to see the next part of this series, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can keep a lookout for that next video. Also, if you have any suggestions or any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below and I'll definitely answer them or reply back to you. All right, thank you guys.